All right, now we're gonna move the power steering pump. It has three bolts holding it. Uh, there's one straight top dead center. You have to go through the pulley. There's some holes in there, I'll show you that. But uh, what I wanna show you is now that the car, the engine is uh, free to move, so we can jack it up. You can see it moving. There we go. Now that lower hole, I'll be able to get my wrench in there, the socket, and be able to pull that out. When I get it out, I'll show you the alignment of those holes where they are so you'll know uh, what to feel for, uh, where to feel with your finger when you're looking for those bolts that mount it. Safety tip number three maybe we're on. Do not leave your jack handle sticking out. I can't believe I did that. I was coming this way. I hit my foot on that. Scared me to death. I thought I was going to drop the engine, kick it out from under there, you know. So don't do that. Anyway, the reason I was walking back over here is for the tire to get the camera. Let me show you something here. Just an idea. You can do this with wood or whatever. I'm working. Everything I got to do is right here for the next bit till I get into this. The arm, the support arm to hold the roof the hood up is all in my way so I have a piece of conduit left over I smashed the end flat then I doubled it over and what I'm gonna do is I have long enough piece you could do this with a, a piece of wood and a nail if you wanted to that hole right there this conduit wouldn't fit in there but it will now the other end I left round I'm gonna sit it on this bolt and it actually pushes the car up, hood up further than the uh, the one that's on the car so let me I'll show you what I'm doing here I think I had to do this the first time I worked on the car All right, so it's up in there it cannot fall out of there I have to actually come around this bolt so, so that's not gonna that's not gonna fall off now I can get this so coming right out. out of the way. Now we got free. We can just do whatever we want here. Much better. All right, all three bolts are out. It sits there right in this bracket here. That's right. I forgot. Right here. This, I think it's going to be 10 millimeter. Got to take that off. It holds the power steering lines in place. I'll pull that off, then I'll slide this off. All right. It was 10 millimeter. Just put that grounding strap to the side. Then these are free to move when we pull this out. And again, I'm going to put this 10 millimeter in here so I don't lose it. And this whole bracket's going to come off anyway. Alright, now we're going to pull the power steering pump out. It just slides forward. Now the holes, let me show you where the holes are here. You put the, when it's in there, you have one here, top. The next one is, where's the next? Right here. Orientation about right there. Almost 90 degrees from the first one. And then the last one, straight down. So it's basically like this, and one in the back. And that's how they're oriented. I'll set that there for a second. That's where it came out of. One there. 
one there and then the other's on the bottom okay. goes in right there all right the next piece we have to take off is the power steering uh, mount mounting bracket that is this piece here sorry holding it and doing this piece here there's three 15 millimeter bolts there's one here there's one right back here you're gonna have to jack the engine up a little bit more to get to this one and then down in there right down in here uh, there's another one you'll have to lower the engine to get to that one there's three of them all right got two of the bolts out the one in the back uh, that one always have to leave it in and then work uh, to get this out now the timing chain cover thing gets in the way mine last time it snapped luckily it snapped in such a way I can set it in there it does okay it doesn't move around really so this takes a little bit of finagling to get out of here looks I think you gotta pull the bolt out where's my magnet Pull the bolt out as much as you can. That's how I broke the cover last time. We might have to come up some more. This always gets me trying to get this thing out of here. I'm scared to really keep going up, you know. Goodness, all right. So that's the bolt. I had to leave it in there. It's hard to get that out of there. Here, here, and here. And then that's where our power steering was mounted. So now we're getting into it. <sighs> 